Welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I'm going to show some features of Task Manager that you might not know about that can make it an incredibly fun and awesome program to use not only for benchmarking but also for monitoring system statistics while you're doing things like gaming or working with other intensive applications. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. <music> So the first thing you might not know is there is a shortcut to quickly access Task Manager. Just press Control, Shift, and Escape on your keyboard. And as you can see, that brings Task Manager right up. Now you might have Task Manager open like this by default. The way that you change this permanently is just by clicking the More Details button. I want to actually show you some options that I recommend you change. First of all, you can make it so that Task Manager is always on top. So that means if I open up the File Explorer here that is obstructed by Task Manager. That makes sense that you could have this in front of games or in front of other applications. Second thing I'd recommend you do is set the default tab to whatever you like. I always use performance more than I use processes, so I have that default tab set to performance. Now on the first processes tab, the only suggestion that I have is for you to right click right where you see any of these metrics, and you can actually enable different metrics that you can view. By default, GPU is actually turned off, so you can't see what applications are using more of the GPU. But now if you turn that on, as you can see, OBS is using about 5%. And you can also change the type of values that this gives you. So for instance, for memory, I can change that 2% instead of megabytes. Same thing goes with network and the same thing goes with disk. On the second tab, which is performance, this is where things get kind of cool. If I right click on the side here where you see all the graphs, you can not only hide the graphs if you don't want to see them, but you can also switch into what's called summary view, which is almost like a widget that can show you all of these different metrics. So the reason why I recommended that you leave it as always on top, I can be browsing, I can be doing stuff for my application. This is always going to stay, so I can always quickly check to see if my CPU is being used a lot. And the way to quickly access this is to double click it. And you can also change this for graphs. So let's say, for instance, I can view memory, make that as small as I'd like, and then I can even change that to a different metric so I can go to CPU, network, etc, etc. And one thing that I'd also like to mention is that these graphs can be changed so that they can display different values. So if you wonder how people can view all their different threads on the CPU, all you have to do is right click, hover over change graph 2, and you can choose for CPU between overall or logical processor. So overall is just the one graph and logical processors is the entire graph. And the only other place where you can change this is for your GPU. GPU. First of all, you can either display a single engine, which is a specific instruction on the GPU, or you can display multiple engines by default. And then you can click on the different engines. As you can see, there's a little drop down. So I can view either 3D or I can view all of these different processes. Another cool thing about Task Manager, if you right click below the graph, you can actually copy the different metrics that's displayed right here. So if I open up Notepad and paste that in, now I can quickly access important information about my CPU, my GPU, my memory. And another thing to note, if you look at the GPU, you can view the temperature that your GPU is operating at. So now you don't have to use a third party program like MSI Afterburner to monitor what temperature your GPU is running at. I would like to see Microsoft add that same temperature metric to something like the disks because I know that they do have that from smart data and possibly even your CPU and your memory. Now there are a lot of different sections here, but I don't really use these a lot. The only section that they recommend you go to is the startup section. And this is where you can enable or disable startup processes. So one thing that makes your computer slow when it turns on is a bunch of things opening up the instant that your PC boots up. So what I recommend is you go through and see which ones are really important. You might need to have an updater or some other process running, but something like the Epic Games Launcher, I don't really want to have that always be in my face. So you have to do is right click this and either enable or disable and you can then make it so that your computer doesn't automatically launch those applications. Well, that's about it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching this quick tips. If you'd like to know more information about how to get more granular details about your computer, please check out my video going over the reliability monitor. It's very complimentary to this task manager video and it will give you a lot more troubleshooting information, especially about the network and about different processes such as viruses is running on your CPU. So again, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next video.
拜拜。